create an interactor. Image interactor. So this is the its concern is only about images, whether to load the thumbnail or to load the uh, whether to load the thumbnail or the real image. So on its init, it should accept the API, the service API, which is nothing but the categories. It can also be uh, images API. We can make it as images API. It's just that uh, the service needs to implement that. We are not yet created that. Let's jump similar to the groceries API. Let's create a new. Hope it works. Images API and protocol. function to load the images so download let me call it as fetch thumbnail it should return me a thumbnail so it can we can also create type alias for that image closure which is going to come back as data and what that's my image closure. There is escaping image closure. Again, this requires Alamo file or maybe foundation itself. So that's done. One more function to fetch the real image, fetch image. Same thing. So this is what we will implement. So let's do this. Let service equal to image service. Images API that should compile. What is that? Okay, bad. Now let's implement this. Go back to our grocery service in one of the extensions. Grocery service should implement images API. And we implement on the both of these functions. And then again, call is similar, like do try catch again to try catch while fetching thumbnail fetching image and call is similar like you do grocery uh, HTTP router dot download image pass the image name so this is where we need a change it needs an image name This will in turn trigger changes in my images API. That's it. And uh, download image to the data handling. It returns me dot request. Passing the HTTP service. And on response, response is going to be a data type. So data is what I'll get back. The result dot data is what I need to return from here. So I'll use that completion. Result dot data. Succeed at similar thing here. No change. Fetch thumbnail. Download thumbnail it's also returning that data object that's done 
fetching thumbnail so our service is ready now whatever we need to do is pass this as a dependency to it's already passed to image interactor we have and within the extension let's have the function to do that thing so we can directly replicate those functions images api self dot service dot fetch fetch thumbnail passing the image name passing the closure completion similarly fetch uh, image passing the image name passing completion so in, in no case uh, image interactor is going to make a direct call to the lmo fire did LMFIR objects or anything it should be agnostic about it it should only know about uh, the services uh, which can be a step step service or a real service so that's the only thing it should know that's why we have uh, it feels like there are so many redundant things code this call is making there as, as well this function is similar to that function but then things can change if let's say i had to save some some image after it is downloaded then that code comes here it will call again another service and then store it using that service or something so that's a difference between an interactor and an actual service service does some work but interactor is more like consume consumes different kind of services and then does some business logic here that's a difference so fetch image fetch thumbnail is done so we have an interactor ready let's create an instance and we need to download this so for download we need to go back and create those use cases here so uh, only thing that i need is fetch thumbnail a function here and it should be again a uh, completion and image closure that's my fetch thumbnail which will again trigger something here fetch thumbnail we need an interactor for that let image interactor equal to image interactor passing the service so we already know the service which is grocery service dot shared which is implementing that uh, image service image api that's why you can use it dot fetch thumbnail okay it needs an image name so that will actually be a change it needs an image name image name let's go back to presenter image now it should be fine is that order correct get category oh i read it somewhere else okay that's done so we have this dependency of that uh, use case injected now succeeded go back to interactor interactor is fine we have in, we are in the presenter and uh, we need to make that call here so let's just go back to the hue controller this is where it happened this is where it needs to again make a call through the presenter to 
download the image so i can maybe on create a presenter function presentation function called on fetch thumbnail so this is more like pass the image name i think that will be enough need to implement that and it will just call similar thing like global background get thumb down fetch thumbnail and it should return me the data so that's my data and once that is loaded is when the fun will start so i don't need this this part so this is fetching the thumbnail i'm getting a result data here and let me just do that data data and and also create the image object here using that data UI image I think foundation is there else return UI image is accepting an argument or it's something here okay problem is here fetch thumbnail accepts an image name which we have here and then comes the closure of data and then got it this is where we are converting that image object image or even do, we can do that in the next step we just need to pass that as a closure return and this fetch thumbnail once completed on fetch thumbnail now needs this function needs a completion block to return that image data completion will accept a type data Okay, so that will change your trigger trigger change there because I need this there that's my completion once this data is ready I can pass it through this so this is a valid data now if something has gone wrong it will just directly return here else it will return the right data from here itself which I can use at the other end to create the image so in the view controller I have uh, I need to call that function now view controller calls the presenter function self dot big self self dot um, presenter dot on fetch thumbnail pass the view model where is my view model this is my view model okay i already have the image name and this is the response data in this is where i'll convert it into an image using data I'm not doing anything if it's not an image so I'll use this to set the update the uh, image 
of the of that view that's it i guess let's check whether it's loading that image now let's go through the workflow on fetch what is happening in the view here it's going and fetching the image and returning it so i guess even in this use case i have implemented that feature so let's check what's going on now yes image is loading so that's my thumbnail it's asynchronously loading after the details are loaded it gets loaded so we can just extend this for each and everything right now itself same approach it just need to download that image and add it to that specific control can be modularized this can be written better because I'm just duplicating this but once you have the final version of the code it will be optimized you can check that in patron where I will upload the code I guess that's the last thing I had to do it should now load all the images and the details yeah it works so that's pretty much what I wanted to show in this episode where the implementation of the home screen is changed and we are loading the categories which is coming directly from the server even images details and everything and then in the next episode we will see how we can actually implement the first time we'll be implementing implementing the router section where the navigation will start happening we had the router just for loading the tab bars earlier but then this will be more interesting where uh, you can actually navigate to different screen and and that navigation will carry some information about the first screen like category id or something if you need to need to pass it it will be passed through the router and uh, that's pretty much uh, what we will be covering the next one i guess uh, this is pretty much clear like the routing architecture of lmo5 the http router which is something which will modularize your code so i guess you you were uh, uh, you you were like uh, had good information in this episode maybe we can if you have any queries come back to me it's a little tiring for me we had it was a little longer one but then i'm a little tired right now so if you have any queries come back uh, and uh, <clears throat> post your comments and if you like the video like it if you want to share it with somebody you can share it and then maybe improve my subscribers that will help me in any way and uh, code access is at patreon you need to go there and subscribe to get that uh, code base so until the ne next episode uh, bye from me